Uh, my name is James Fraction. I'm an electrical engineer at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. One thing about this environment is that you don't go solo with many things around here, not anything at all. I'm co consistently working with uh, my the design team that I'm a part of, or even from working with the uh, lab personnel also. There's always some type of communication between other individuals that's going on. So, And I'm a pretty um, social guy, so I don't mind that. MMS is a, a mission where we are in the process of designing and building a four identically instrumented spacecraft uh, for the purposes of using the Earth's magnetosphere as a, basically a huge lab. What the plan is, is to study a concept called uh, magnetic reconnection. It's a process where the energy within the uh, mag magnetic field of the Earth is tapped and basically heat and kinetic energy is produced. And scientists are very curious as to exactly how this process works. So the reason we have four spacecraft is so that we can fly them in a tetrahedral formation and with the instruments on board each uh, spacecraft we're able to actually do a 3D imaging of the magnetic reconnection events as they happen. I am a member of the uh, CNDH, which stands for Command and Data Handling, uh, the subsystem. I'm a member of their uh, design team. And my particular role on MMS was to uh, design a uh, backplane, which essentially is a bridge that connects the multiple cars that are within the CNDH subsystem together. It was uh, pretty challenging and um, it was uh, definitely uh, a, a great uh, work assignment. Environmental testing is uh, done to ensure that the flight hardware will be able to withstand the rigors of the uh, space environment. So with the projects I've worked on, it's typically composed of three different tests. There's uh, the electromagnetic interference test. Another test is the vibration test. And once that passes, we go to a third round of testing, which is thermal vacuum testing. And essentially what that is is an assimilation of the space environment where we put the command and data handling system into a vacuum environment and we uh, proceed to test the system over a variety of different temperatures. A message I have for kids out there is to make sure that their math and science skills are strong and uh, the last thing is just to be true to yourself. I mean if you know that science or math or you know some type of it could be you know any other type of major out there or type of subject out there it's something that you have a strong passion for even if you may be a little hesitant go for it uh, dream big